What we're going to be doing is we're going to attempt to rattle can this trunk. Um, I don't like to rattle can big pieces like this because I don't want to end up with that zebra striping. So I am going to attempt it today. I got some sandpaper. I got 180 grit, 320 and 400. I'm gonna use the 180 to get into this little spot right here. You guys can see there's a little bit of rust in there, like surface rust and maybe into here. I might do it really lightly with some soapy water. And then I'm gonna do 320 on the whole panel and I'm gonna do 400 and then I'll wipe it all down and I will start painting. I'm gonna place this trunk over there this is a trunk that I did the weight reduction on that I loosened up. These guys can see on this side. It's all gutted on the inside. And I'm gonna remove these tail lights on each side. And then I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it down. see how filthy this is all around I'm gonna go ahead and get some soapy water and get it clean and then we'll start sanding to a different location and we're going to be using the wax and tar remover and we are going to make sure that this whole surface is nice and clean with this stuff. Yeah. We're going to let this whole thing dry up and as soon as it's dry I'll start laying some coats of paint. The first coat is going to be tacky, a very light coat. We're gonna let this dry up and then I'm gonna come back and give it a heavier coat. I'm gonna go ahead and lay my second coat and with this coat I'm gonna make everything the same color. It's all gonna change to leather brown right now.
So two coats are on. I could definitely see some striping. I'm gonna wait a few minutes and then I'm gonna come back and give it a really heavy wet coat. And that's gonna be my final coat. And that should even everything out. This is gonna be my last coat. I'm just gonna go ahead and bomb it. All right, it's not too bad. I do have some orange peel. I will attempt to uh, wet sand it off. But it looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and take this inside the house and back into the garage and let it dry. And then we'll see what it looks like in a few hours. It's been a few hours, around four or five hours, and this thing dried up perfect. It's looking really glossy. Tomorrow, I'm gonna go ahead and wet sand it completely. I was thinking maybe I'll let it cure for a few out for a few uh, days, but you know it's only a five dollar paint job, so. If anything goes wrong, I could always take another rattle can and lay some more coats. I do have two rattle cans up there, so I'm not too worried about it. But look at that reflection. There is a little bit of garbage that you could feel in some spots. But besides that, right here, besides that, it's really squeaky, like I said. It's really squeaky. Um... I didn't cover these holes right here where the wing was because I might just bring the wing back and put it on there. I'm not sure yet. Yeah, so this is definitely going to be the end of the video. And I'm going to go ahead and post this. And tomorrow morning, that's the first thing I'm going to do. Wet sand and buff that whole panel and see what, what we end up with. Catch you guys on my next video. Till then, peace out, stay safe, catch you guys later.